you can get a job after graduation. It's never been hard for me to get a job. I know that is audacious for me to say, but it's true. Here we're all about um, abundance mindset. If this isn't the place for you, there's another better, bigger place for you that wants you and will pay you to do even less work. The third door principle. If you're going into like a party, right? There's a line that people are waiting. So there's the people who can go through the front door and there are bouncers and then there's a waiting list and then they're checking off the names, right? And then there are those people like the staff who can go through the back door who they're like, you know, they work in there so they'll just use the back door and everything. And then there's a third hidden door, which is for the VIPs. There are people being brought in by other people. So what you're going to do is use the third door. If you have a network and if you have social capital, use it. If your parent knows somebody who knows somebody, use it. At the end of the day, you just want a job, right? As long as you're qualified and you can do the job and you're willing to learn and willing to grow, then there's no problem, okay? It's like saying this, if I had my own company, why wouldn't I hire a competent staff who is also, you know, my friend or something like that and I know they can do the job. Go to events, networking events or marketing events, and but not the common ones. My church has marketplace events, like people who are in the marketplace uh, learning how to be like leaders in their field, so they bring these speakers and stuff like that to talk to people and to grow, right? So in these events, I have met very high-powered people, people who work, you know, in the World Bank and all that. And you're given access just because you go to the same church. So use your social circles. I was emailing one of them after an event. I was like, hi, my name is so-and-so. I came up to this event and I was very enriched by your talk. I am a lawyer or I am, I'm a lawyer. So I said, I'm a lawyer and this is what I do. And if there's an opportunity to work for your place, please consider me, whatever. I wrote that in the email. And he replied to me, he was like, we're, we're okay. He's like, oh, thank you for writing to me. This is like the CEO of that company. And he's like, I'm glad you enjoyed the thing. I afforded your resume to the HR. I've copied her here and this and this. And we got chatting. So would I have had that opportunity if I didn't show up to that place? It was like hitting two birds with one stone. Because one... I was learning something. I was learning a lot of knowledge from these people who've been in the marketplace, who are doing big things. But also, I got the opportunity to talk with them, to network with the people who were at my table. One was learning some very nice app. Another lady also, she was working for an NGO and I gave her my details. You see, stuff like that opens up doors. Use your social circles, even in your gym. If you go to the gym, I'm pretty sure there are people who need people like you in their workspace. So don't close up your mind. Always have a growth mindset. Spaghetti on the wall. Throwing spaghetti on the wall and seeing what sticks. There's just not one method of getting a job. Like I said, the first thing I said I told you is that you can use your social networks. If your parent knows somebody or if you're in school and your lecturer maybe is looking for a teaching assistant. There's so many ways. So don't Narrow yourself down to just one thing. You can apply for jobs. In the meantime, you can be, you know, volunteering at your local, you know, children's home or something. Just make sure you're not in that waiting energy for, I'm just waiting for something to happen to me. You know, as I sit here, I've applied for jobs. I'm not getting results. That energy repels repels manifestations it repels things from coming into your life to be in that abundance mindset you kind of need to be doing something i'm always doing something i always have something in the oven if i'm if i don't have the job i want i'd probably be doing a business or learning about business or growing my skills i'm not the type to just sit and wait that waiting energy is gonna repel things from you and it's gonna like shut your mind down so you make sure that you're doing something that you enjoy even if you're not necessarily getting the job that you want make sure you're still doing something growing your skills learning sharing follow people on linkedin who are doing what you're doing and you can even message them did you know you can do that i was talking to somebody he works for microsoft on linkedin 
I, I saw his article, he talked about how he came from a poor background, but now he has a PhD and he's working from Microsoft and all that. So I just texted, I wrote him on LinkedIn, I'm like, wow, this is so amazing. What do you think is the biggest thing that, you know, transformed your life that made you go from place A to point B? And he answered me, he was like, I think, you know, it's God, my parents' prayers. So people are actually very friendly. If you show that you're interested in what they do and you text them that way, they reply and that's another connection you have doing an internship an internship is kind of controversial because a lot of people want to be paid and a lot of people just don't pay for interns but what i've seen that is beneficial is if you're doing a free internship go to a place where the environment is good they're not like throwing all their work on you because you're an intern and they're not paying you no go to a place that's you know free a little bit free you can do what you want and you can also learn on the job and it's also getting your foot in the door because if you're like me things will just work out for you okay i was doing uh my pupillage which is like an internship compulsory internship for lawyers and when i was there the associate who was there quit and i was doing really good work hey i want to hire you you've been doing good work i want you to remain with us blah 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 that happened so an internship can be a way of putting your foot in the door. Just make sure you're not spending years and years there wasting your resources when you know there are other places you can go. But it's also another way, like I said, to keep moving, to get out of that waiting energy, of that scarcity mindset, and realize that you can do things uh, and you can, you know, have other things. And the best time to do this is when you're in school. Because when you're in school... Uh, it's assumed that you're still being supported by your parents and things like that. So when, you, when you're in school, you can do internships. And even if they're not paying you, you're learning a lot of skills. You're learning how, whether you even want to be in that field and things like that. Focus on skills rather than income. I know, I know in, income is very important. But if you level up your skills, then I believe the income will rise to match that because you'll have a lot of options. So, for example, some people, um, when we were doing our internship, our compulsory intern internship, they were like, I'm not going to that place because I want them to pay me, blah, 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 like the top most, uh, the highest amount in the field. And, but the person has no skills. In fact, they failed some of their papers, and yet they're so bold to ask for that. And I'm like, okay, it's not bad. Ask also. You know, you can ask and you'll, you'll receive. I'm all about the law of attraction. But... And please improve your skills. So if you know that you, you're in like the finance field and the accounting field, if you can show uh, where you're working that you are need you are like they can't lose you in this firm because you're the only one who brings the skill set, then of course they you'll be a hot commodity. That whole I don't chase, I attract, you attract people by having the skills that they need in their companies. Or you can even start your own, honestly. It's possible for you to start your own. So focus on your skill. Grow your skills. I have a friend who, she's an architect, and she's the only one who could make those uh, life-like, realistic, um, you know, what do you call them? Architect stuff, buildings, houses. So her firm had to hire her. <laughs> so that's one way she got a job. She did an internship. She was the only one who could do the skill. And they retained her. You sent out your CV and your cover letters to many places that you would like to work, even though they're not advertised a job position. That's what I did. That's how I got the job I currently have. Like a week, a few weeks ago, in the beginning of the year, I sent my CV to two law firms in the area because I've moved houses. So I sent my CV to them and it will have happened in the funniest way. The lady who had sent my CV to knew that she had a friend who wanted an associate. So she passed on my CV and details to that other law firm and they called me and I thought this guy was tripping. I'm like, who's this? I didn't, I don't, I don't know if she's, because they said so-and-so sent me a CV and I'd forgotten who she was. I, I don't know her. I just sent my CV to her. And anyway, the rest is history. He called me, had the interview, he was hired on the spot yes so don't limit yourself one of my lecturers as well in my university he said that he was looking for a job so he just showed up to the university and gave them his cv and his credentials and they weren't hiring at the time but he just gave it to them 
And then he left. Then a few months later, they call him up and they're like, we have an opening, we've seen your CV. Would you like to come for an interview? And that's how he got the job. So don't wait for when everybody's sending their CVs because there's a job uh, advertised. You send yours before because the hiring process is also tough on employers. So if you're making it easier for them by having your CVs already there, then it's another way you can also get a job. And don't worry, okay? It will all work out in the end. All right? Don't give up. Uh, there are people who've waited for years, 10 years to get a job and finally got one. Um, you can do other things and start your business. Maybe you've been called to, you know, start a business. And we know that two-thirds of millionaires are self-employed, okay? So you go and do your thing and it will all work out in the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah. See you later. Bye.